Welcome back to the alcove, everybody. It came the Taito Super Pocket uh, for the Evercade. We did arcade cl uh, classic in your pocket. Um, I'm actually really excited about this because I got into the Evercade. I ended up buying a few games, so now I got a nice, nice little stack of cartridges. Um, and while I was waiting for this, I got impatient and ended up buying the, the home console. So now I'm really into the Evercade. <clears throat> So let's open this bad boy up and take a look here. Jeez. There we go. The tape they used on the top proved to be a little too much for me. Nope, we're still not in. <sighs> Come on, man. Oh, I tore the box in two places. No! Oh my goodness. Oh well. It's just a box. <laughs> but the refill value! Alright, here it is. Uh, first, let's look at I've, I've noticed that a couple of the games have come with like little tiny posters. Like, it's just an ad, but... The NES game, uh, you know... When you, when you bought an NES game, it came with a poster like this. Remember with the screen cracked and all the other little screens on it? I remember we used to go nuts for that thing. So that's cool. That is the quick start guide. And then we have the unit itself. Feels good. We have a nice soft uh, sort of matted uh, plastic feel. Buttons feel good. Let's see that cartridge slot. Oh, wow. Is that a... Okay, so I, th I thought that this was the quote-unquote built-in games, but what they have instead of like a, a door is there's a jumper. So this, if you look, it doesn't have any circuit board in it. It just has a jumper to fill the spot. All right, so let's put the jumper back in. L and R buttons still feel pretty good, uh, which is hard to do in one of these handhelds. When they're side-by-side when -side like this, a lot of the times I don't like them. But this seems to work. One thing I will say, though, and I kind of knew this ahead of time. Look at the look at which ones are like. Oh, there we go. Look at which ones are R one versus R two. The inside ones are R one and L one. If you play an Ambernick machine, like I, you know, like I have been, it's reversed. So that's going to take some time to get used to. Um, let's see if it boots up. Usually these things ship with like a little bit of battery. <sighs> the Hyper Mega, whoa, sorry. Easy mode, I don't know, I thought easy mode was a physical switch. It is. Nope, that was the power. <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so dumb. Oh wow, award winning stupidity. Normal mode. Alright. It's going to make me scroll through this before accepting that Yule. Wee. Alright, and here we go. Now, uh, over on the forums, we've had a, uh, a high score battle going with Space Invaders. So one of the reasons I've been looking forward to playing this is playing the, uh, the version of Space Invaders they have. Look at that. Play Space Invaders. And my goodness, is that ever teeny tiny. This is a 2.5 inch screen. There we go. Okay, so I'm curious. While this is running, what happens if I pop the jumper out? Nothing. Okay, great. So we got save and load. One of the things that sets the Evercade apart from old consoles is that for the NES back in the day, that one's actually in my machine, hold on. There we go, Sydney Hunter. If you had an NES or something, then you, all right. Sh shut up. 
gonna have to quiet that down a little bit. If you had an NES or something, you turned it off so that you could switch the game. You didn't want to switch games while it was booted up, but the, the Evercade works different. So let's see. Does this work the same way? So if I'm going left and right, can I see the Sydney Hunter games in there? There we go. No, I guess not. I guess I do indeed have to uh, have to reboot it. Okay. I'm glad we have an earphone jack. Seems like things are starting to lose their earphone jack, and I hate that. Why is it not reading my cartridge? I gotta say, Evercade, this is not it's not a good not a good first look. <laughs> I'm not missing anything in the quick start guide. It just says Evercade compatible, select this coin up uh, and then game menu, start game. I don't know. My Sydney Hunter collection cartridge is not working. Uh, <laughs> but while I figure out what's going on with that, I have to figure out if I'm doing it wrong or if I have to return it. But here it is. I guess I'm still excited, and that's kind of a bummer, though.